गुड मॉर्निंग मैम गुड मॉर्निंग बेटा गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू स्टूडेंट गुड मॉर्निंग मैम गुड मॉर्निंग कम ऑन नाउ लेट्स एवरीवन गुड मॉर्निंग गुड मॉर्निंग बॉन्जूर बॉन्जूर लेट्स ऑल ऑफ अस ओपन आवर कैमरास everybody i'm waiting for all of you to open your cameras hurry up asfa mohammad malik warsi atulya ayan hussain and one second the man opening okay very nice take out your french books and now you can send the pdf pdf of what peter name of the friends chapter okay we've completed first chapter did we start the uh, chapter 0 did we start chapter 0 yes ma'am we have started ma'am lavanya is saying we have started chapter 2 we started with chapter बेटा वन पर्सन प्लीज सेट क्लियरली वी हैव डन चैप्टर वन वी हैव कंप्लीटेड इट यस नाउ टुडे वी हैव टू स्टार्ट चैप्टर जीरो इज दैट सो लेसॉन जीरो सी द बुक बिगिन फ्रॉम लेसॉन जे हो everybody take out your books and open page number 9 till then i'll make pdf and send it on the class group children how many of you have your uh, workbooks french workbooks how many of you have them only one student only soham i have only soham that is what i'm saying so that means i'll have to make pdf of the workbook as well okay soham beta start making the pdf of chapter 0 yes and send it on the class. and on this book only yeah yes beta this book only chapter 0 and send it on the class group
Ma'am, my voice is coming. Yes, beta, your voice is coming. Okay, now check your class group. Those who don't have the book, please check your class group. The PDF is there. Now, coming on to the chapter name. What is the chapter name? The chapter name is Vous connaissez la France. What is it? Everybody speak. Vous connaissez la France. Vous connaissez. Vous connaissez la France. Yes. Well, uh, in Tudor, we can't say the last word on uh, Better please say it yes. loudly. I can't understand. Yes. What are you saying? Ma'am, I was saying in Tudor, like, it's on, the chapter name is on coming rules from Nancy. The chapter that is coming? What is wrong with it? Can anybody please tell me what he's saying? I think nobody is being able to understand Atulle what you want to say. Okay. Now what do you mean by who? What do you mean by who? Who, anybody knows the meaning of who, as we did in the previous chapter? Ma'am, how? What is como? What is como? Beta, como means how. Ma'am, how? Ma how? Yes, como is how. What do you mean by who? Ma'am, what? Yes, Asfa. And it was means what? Who means you? Who means you? Come on, who who's a play? Come on, Tali, who? What is wrong with you all? Who is you? Write it down. Everybody write it in your book. Those who don't have the book, write it in your copy. I want you to write the translation of each and every word. Now, the next word after who is Konese. Who Konese? What do you mean by konese? Konese means to know. K N O W. Who <coughs> konese? Now they are asking, you know what? You know France? Do you know France? The name of the chapter is Do you know France? Now, why have we put la? La has been put because before country names, we always use this definite article. We always use definite articles before the country names. Is that clear? Okay. Lavanya, what is the name of the chapter? Can you read it in Fra French? Yes, try it out. Speak after me. Vous connaissez la France. Vous connaissez la France. Vous connaissez la France. Okay, what does it mean? Vous connaissez la France? Did you know France? Yes. Did you know France? 
Do you know France? Do you know the country France? Do you know the country France? Everyone has written the name of the chapter and the translation. What it means in English? Everyone has written yes or no. Children, first of all, please open your cameras. I don't understand why are you sitting with your cameras off. Are you sleeping? Are you all sleeping behind the cameras? Show me a thumbs up after writing it. Okay, now in this chapter, we are going to study about the country France. There are a few famous things of France. Now, what are those few famous things? The few famous things, let's just read out the chapter and then we'll come to know. Who will read? Tell me who will read. Nobody wants to read. What, Ansh? But you have the PDF. I have sent the PDF right now. Okay, read out, Ansh. Let me open the PDF. Yes. Ma'am, I am opening the PDF, ma'am. Please wait. Okay, wait. Okay. Read it out. Ma'am, please wait. Ma'am, one minute, ma'am. Tell ma'am, ma'am, you will wait, ma'am. Slow, ma'am. Anj, beta, what's wrong? Ma'am, my laptop is a little bit slow, ma'am. Ma'am, just a little bit slow, ma'am. Soham, you read. Soham, beta, you read. Ma'am, open. Ma'am, open. Okay, ma'am. Ma'am, brand. Brand is often called Le Hexagonic. Because of its shape, it occupies a favorable position in the European continent between the Mediterranean Sea and Mediterranean. The between the Mediterranean Sea and the English Channel. Paris is the capital of okay. France. Fine, Paris fine, fine, bit of fine. That's it. Now, France is often called Lexagon. What is it called? Everybody say, what is it called? Lexagon. Now, why it is Lexagon. called Lexagon? Tell me, why it is called Lexagon? Because, well, because its shape is like a hexagon. Yes, somewhat what you see, what you see in the map, it looks like a hexagon. How many sides does, does a hexagon have? Ma'am, six sides. Six sides. Six sides. So, France is often known as hex, hexagon because of its six-dimensional shape. Why is it called lexagon? You can, uh, you can be asked this question in your exams. Why is France called hexagon? Why or why is France called Lexagon? Because of its six-dimensional shape. This is the answer that you are supposed to write. Clear? Okay, Lavanya, read out the next line. Lavanya. 
ਕਰਦੀਆਂ ਬੇਟਾ ਇਟ ਆਕਿਊਪੇਸ ਏ ਫੇਵਰੇਬਲ ਪੋਜੀਸ਼ਨ ਇਨ ਦੀ ਯੂਰੋਪੀਅਨ ਕੰਟੀਨੈਂਟ ਬਿਟਵੀਨ ਦਾ ਮੈਡੀ ਮੈਡੀ ਟੈਰੀਅਨ ਸੀ ਐਂਡ ਦੀ ਇੰਗਲਿਸ਼ ਚੈਨਲ ਯੈਸ ਥਿਸ ਸੋਹਮ ਹੈਡ ਆਲਰੇਡੀ ਰੈਡ ਨਾਉ ਦ ਨੈਕਸਟ ਵਨ ਨੈਕਸਟ ਲਾਈਨ read out the next line paris is the capital of france yes now what another important thing that we learn about france is paris the capital of france then next now what is paris known as paris is also known as by known by a particular name now what is that who will read ancharya yes anshreet paris is also known as la ville lumiere or the city of lights because of its role during the age of enlightenment and also because paris was the first to use gas street lights okay now paris is known as la ville lumiere the city of lights everybody say la v lumiere what is it called la v lumiere yes it is known la as v lumiere yes la v lumiere now why it is called la v lumiere mm-hmm. paris the city why it is known as the city of light because of two reasons the first reason is paris had played a very important role during the age of enlightenment and secondly paris was the first city to use gas street lights these are the two reasons now this is also a very important question of this chapter why is paris called la ville lumiere or what is another name of paris so you have to remember the title given to paris and also why what is the reason clear to everyone yes ma'am yes now next what is the next uh, who will read the next line aradhya mohammad atulle hamza shiv jash simran ayan malik varsi what is wrong with all of you beta are you there in the class ma'am because ma'am because i am on whatsapp you are on whatsapp okay so now can you read the next line yash okay ma'am ma'am 2 minute i am going to whatsapp you are going to whatsapp okay france is well known for its museum lilio museum de Diorze, its landmarks, La Tour Eiffel, La, La Cathedral, the Notre Dame, La Chatex, its, its wine, Le, Le Bourgogne, Le Bordeaux, its trees, Le, Le Combert, Le Combert, Le Gaudet, le grail and the fashion christian do it you you the saint la laron okay i'm done now see such difficult words isn't it okay is so difficult words now what you will do is all of you will write the trans uh, sorry write the pronunciation of these words is that clear now what do we study here we study france is very famous or it is well known for its museums what are museums called in french musee now what are the names of the museums give it to us we have to learn them it's louvre l o u v r e louvre everybody is it clear what is it called louvre and another museum is musee d'orsay 
muse d apostrophe o r s a y muse dot se clear now speak both these names le louvre a muse dot se value a muse dot value of mose these are the two museums after these museums now what do we have its landmarks now it has got a few important landmarks as well now which are those landmarks those landmarks are la tour eiffel and my eiffel tower yes yes the eiffel tower everyone of us has heard of it la tour eiffel and la cathedrale de notre dame la cathedrale de notre dame everybody say la cathedrale de notre dame la cathedrale de notre dame and the first la one is la cathedrale de notre dame yes and the first one is la tour eiffel la tour eiffel la cathedrale de notre dame now what are these two these two are the landmarks clear yes then we have and one more place it's le chateau okay i missed it it's le le chateau are you writing all of them are you writing it all yes ma'am yes yes ma'am just add le chateau and please underline when you write landmarks just underline landmarks and under it these three places clear museums underline museum uh, notre dame land of the dead notre dame these are what landmarks three of them 1 2 and 3 la tour eiffel la cathedrale de notre dame and le chateau all three are what are they they are all the landmarks of france shall i raise the board written everyone yes ma'am yes ma'am then coming on to another important thing of paris that is its wine now france is very famous for its wines what are wine for what is wine called in french it's called le vin v i n s and it is called le vin now what are the names of two wines two important wines they have given just two names everybody will speak also along with writing everybody will speak these these names le bour le bour bour b o u r s bour le bour go this g is le silent bour. whenever g comes before n 
that becomes silent la bur gone we are not speaking this g is that clear la gone la bur gone la bur gone clear la bur and the second one is la bor now b o r is bor b o u r is bur fine bur and bor bor d e a u x bor do bor do lo bor do Now, who will speak the names of these two wines? I want one of you to speak the pronunciation. Ma'am, can I? Yes, better try. No. Please try. Yes, all of you will try. Le, le bourgogne. Very le nice. Le bur, le bur do. Bordo. Now, do one thing, children. You can also le, see le, to le, remember le, it le, better. Le, to remember le, it better, you can write it in Hindi also. What is the harm? Put a bracket and uh, write like this: Bordeaux and Bourgogne. Everybody till here, whichever difficult words we have written, the pronunciation is very difficult for the beginners. Just write down all of them in Hindi. It's Bourgogne. Bourgogne and other words as well: Cathedral, Notre Dame, Chateau. What written? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. All right. Now moving ahead to the next part. Now, yes, France is also famous for its cheese. Now, what is cheese called in French? Anybody knows what free uh, what cheese is called? Cheese no, is called. F R O M A G E, fromage. <coughs> Cheese in French is called fromage. Now there are variety. There are different types of cheese also in France. Like for example, one of a very one of the very famous cheese of France is Le Camembert. C A M E M C A M E M B E R. Now this T is silent. Le C A M E M B E R and Le Gruyere. Le Gruyere. <coughs> two important cheese they have just given the names of two varieties of cheese le camembert le gruyere ma'am what is the pronunciation of second gru E gruy gruy air E R E is air gruy air. Then next. 
yes written yes ma'am okay then after cheese the last thing that they have spoken of is the fashion now what is written in bracket these are the fashion designers two important fashion designers of the world which come from france they are christian dior christian dior and now the pronunciation of the last one everybody pay attention eves it's eves song s a i n t is not saint in english we call it saint but in french song eves song l a u r e n t law wrong like in english we say laurent isn't it in french yes, it is law wrong law wrong if song law wrong everybody say if song law wrong very nice now write if song law wrong. wrong everybody write the pronunciation in hindi first then we'll move ahead what is the name of first designer what what is the name of first designer first designer is christian dior christian dior ma'am done done okay till here everything is clear now see children how you are going to get these questions in exam the question would be either name any name any famous cheese of france so you have to learn you should know the name by heart of that cheese or you can get a question relier le colon what does that mean that means match the columns now here it's fromage va muse anything like that any heads can be given and for a wine now what is a famous wine let's say bordeaux which is one famous cheese that's camembert yeah. camembert 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 muse lu so can you match them yes ma'am yes very nice yes, and we have to not put le no we will not put in matched right now better see because of uh, such less space i have not written otherwise you are supposed to write ma'am we have to write this in copy no i'm just showing you as an example if you want to write you can write otherwise you can leave also but why i'm telling you why i'm showing you this kind of a question this confuses you even more right now it may look a little simple but in exams it becomes little confusing when you have everything in your mind so you should learn it by heart okay now coming on to the next page see on the next page page number 10 different uh, these historical points famous places landmarks are shown can you see all of you yes ma'am yes ma'am yes 
but don't worry you need not learn them just go through them once that's all then coming on to the next part page number 11 euro is the currency of france now what is the currency of france euro euro another important thing it's l apostrophe e u r o it's called euro euro then the next thing is le drapeau francais le drapeau Francais. M euro, 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 the euro. It's the euro, euro. Then what is le drapeau francais? The everybody look up here on the board. The French flag. Drapeau stands for flag. Francais means French, the flag French. Okay, how do we say? We say le drapeau français. But what is the translation in English? The French flag. Now this is one more another rule I should say. This is another rule of French language that. we put nationality now what is french here french here is nationality whose nationality the flag's nationality flag is what here noun isn't it it's a noun flag is a noun it's a common noun yes ma'am in french language nationalities are placed after the noun okay if i want to say a french girl in english what will i say a french girl nationality and then my noun but in french or oh, in french what do we do we switch their positions it is une first we will write girl une fi and then we will write the nationality francais and what we pronounce the french flag le drapeau francais une fille française you understand the nationality now how is nationality placed nationality is what it is an adjective what kind of a girl french girl what kind of a flag french flag so when we place the adjectives of nationalities we place them after the noun not like english language before the noun no now what is le drapeau francais what are the colors of the french flag they are talking about the color of the french flag so what are the colors now color blue is called b l e u blue instead of u e it's e u blue white color is long and red color is rouge bleu blanc rouge and what is second color white better white bleu blanc rouge and just the last